And so who needs the NFL when you've got DK Man kickoff International Scout Bowl while the New England Patriots were busy coming back to beat the Baltimore Ravens on Saturday? About 1,000 local fans packed the Truman Bodden Sports Complex to catch the first American football game ever played in the Cayman Islands. And Caymanians played a big role in this one, scoreless in the first quarter until Perry Levy finds some room in the back of the end zone. He hauls in the TD pass from David Knighton for the first score of the game. Over to the second quarter now, Glenn Duran on the slant and he's got it. Caymanians scoring the first two touchdowns in this one and it's 13-0 Team White. First drive of the second half now, this is Kendrick Solomon with the tackle for a loss, but Two plays later, the blue team kept the drive alive. Kevin Alberki just embarrasses the corner. He takes off for about a 20-yard gain. A nice run after the catch there. Three plays after that, he hauls in the Luke Zaradka pass. 13-7 white team after that. Same score in the fourth. That's when Daryl Tate plows in from about five yards out. The extra point was no good. So it's tied at 13 with about two minutes to go. Ensuing white team possession. We're gonna see it here third and long. And Caymanian Avery Ebanks picks up the first down. Some nice moves along the sideline there, but that drive would stall. So less than a minute to go. Blue team driving. Zaradka finds Alberki down the middle. And that is your game winner. The blue team comes back for the 20 to 13 win. Afterward, Levy spoke about the experience. It was awesome. I mean, it was exciting. This is something I've been looking forward for like, most of my life. I always wanted to play contact football. Um, the American guys were very helpful to us. I mean, we got acclimated pretty quick. Thankfully, with flag, it's, it's a pretty similar system from that standpoint other than the contact. So they're pretty impressed with us because we were pretty polished and we understand a lot of their philosophies. So it was exciting. I think we can play this game. So I, I think that's what we're going to take forward from it, like possibly do, do some more exhibition games and maybe get the NFL involved and maybe we can go this direction in the future. I mean, I'm past my time, but maybe the youth can do something like this going forward. And while there were some big hits on the field like this one, K-Man's leaders say the event is a hit off of it as well, with the game opening doors for K-Man both athletically and economically. And the reason we do this is because we look for sports tourism that fills in the valleys of our tourism product. Our hotel rooms are full, so we have a little gap right now that this helped us uh, move the needle. And when we look at sports that can bring activities here when we have rooms available, that's why we're looking at different types of sports tourism. The fact is that if, so, if, if we have some of our young people given that opportunity, it just does wonders for Cayman and wonders uh, for, for those young people. Change their life. And before the game, players from both teams came together for some training with local youngsters and fans. About a few dozen children came out to get involved.